we figured out a structure, an organizational structure, which is uh, middle heavy. By that I mean we have a few faculty members, each with a different complementary expertise. So together we have a very well-rounded faculty uh, at ISP. And within each faculty group, we have senior scientists. These are extremely talented, accomplished scientists who could be faculty members at other institutions, but have chosen to uh, stay at ISP because we give them the kind of environment and the freedom to do top-notch science. And these form the soul of ISP, so to speak. Uh, they are cross-disciplinary, they bridge across groups, they uh, act as mentors, they can write for funds. And so this really flattens the organization to a large extent um, and allows for cross-disciplinary science to occur because even in the senior scientists, even if the faculty member has expertise in one area, the team of senior scientists in each group will have very diverse expertise. Um, and in my own group, there's uh, someone with expertise in astrophysics and someone with expertise in uh, industrial microbiology or oceanography or human genetics. And they all work together. And, and that is a culture that is not easy to establish. In most places, when they say systems biology, they point to faculty members with different expertise. And these faculty members, each one has his own agenda. Uh, and while they may have different expertise, they're not working in the same group. Whereas in ISP, within one group, you have so many different people with different kinds of expertise.